हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजैक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फ्रेशनल डिफ्रैक्शन पार्ट एंड ऑफ ए स्लिट लेट्स एगेन लेट वी कंसिडर ए सोर्स एस which produces a monochromatic light having wavelength lambda and a rectangular slit ए बी ए बी हियर ए बी इज ए रेक्टांगुलर स्लीट एंड एट सम पर्टिकुलर डिस्टेंस we place a screen o be the center of that of screen according to the rectilinear propagation of light the light travel in this way so that region the point p the point q so that region is the illuminating region illuminated region after that which which one is the geometrical illuminating region after point p in the region is the geometrical shadow region after point q it has geometrical shadow region due to that rectangular slit we obtain the diffraction pattern on that of screen so what type of diffraction pattern we observe look here from that of source we consider the wave front we front uh, x y that point b let's see where x y is the wave front c is the pole of that wave front with respect to the point o that is the center of that of screen according to the theory of fresnel that is west of on fresnel half period zones by using that concept of fresnel half period zone we can explain what be the diffraction pattern we observe on that of screen look at that figure here 
that slit AB, the upper half and lower half, that portion is just like a straight edge, that one is also just like a straight edge. As we studied the diffraction pattern at a straight edge, that concept is used here. So, due to that above straight edge, we can obtain a diffraction pattern here. Due to the lower straight edge, we obtain a diffraction pattern there. And that can be explained by using Fresnel's half node zone concept. And the diffraction pattern that we observe on that of screen that based upon what be the size of that rectangular slit. Rectangular slit we basically formed if we consider a plane of a paper. Let that one be a plane of paper. When you just slice it, slice it, so it is formed as a rectangular slit that be the breadth, that be the length of the rectangular slit. depending on the length and breadth of that of rectangular slit, we classify it into two categories. One is wide aperture of the slit, another one is the narrow aperture of that of slit, last one at the very narrow aperture of the slit, depending upon what be the length and breadth of that of rectangular slit. On the basis of what be the shape of that rectangular slit, we obtain that kind of diffraction pattern on that of screen and that can be explained by using Fresnel's theory regarding half period zones. Let us start with that one. First one, wide aperture of the slit, wide aperture of the slit, when the aperture of the slit A B is wide enough that aperture is wide enough, wide, so the length portion is 2 more. So, it allow more number of half period zones to obtain a uniform illumination with poor contrast near P and Q points. This is AB, rectangular slit is a wide aperture, so it allow to pass a large number of half period zones through that of illuminated region. A near point uh, P and uh, Q, the intensity of the light decreases continuously and quickly reduces to 0 in that of geometrical shadow region. As uh, it seems uh, as if this wide aperture corresponds to the parallel straight edges, one edge passes through point A and other one is passes through the point B and the fringe patterns are similar to those obtained outside that of geometrical shadow of a straight edge. Thus, the intensity decreases continuously and quickly becomes 0. That part act as a straight edge, this portion also act as a straight portion, straight edge. As we studied the diffraction pattern in case of a straight edge, so at point P and Q we obtain a diffraction pattern. What type of intensity is here we obtain? So, let we draw the graph. In that of axis, let me prefer intensity.
that be the point O, that be the point P, that be the point Q. Diffraction pattern due to the straight edge. So the intensity. gradually decreases and here almost constant then at point q here intensity gradually decreases after that the almost constant at o point the intensity is constant then near P and Q, we obtain alternate dark and bright fringes as we study in case of diffraction at a straight edge. As the rectangular slit is wide aperture, that be the intensity distribution, that be the way to explain what exactly happened in case of wide aperture of the slit. Here the fringe patterns outside that of geometrical stride of that of straight edge intensity decreases continuously and quickly becomes zero. As the wide aperture corresponds to to parallel straight edges according to that concept of diffraction at straight edge we obtain the diffraction pattern next another type of uh, slit that is uh, a narrow aperture of the slit second one if that rectangular slit has narrow aperture then what be the diffraction pattern the center o on the screen is either bright or dark the center o on the screen is either bright or dark that can be decided what be the number of half period zones passed at point o accordingly either we obtain a maxima or minima at point o can be explained so, the spacing between the fringes near the point P and Q within that of region PQ is unequal and have lower in contrast, poor contrast, low in contrast above the point O and below the point Q. We obtain equally spaced fringes in the region of geometrical shadow. In that of geometrical shadow, we obtain equally spaced fringes. Let me analyze it by using the Fresnel's concept. Look at particular figure to explain that one. Here the point C serves as the pole of that of wave front with respect to the point O and it divides two halves. One above the point C and other below the point C. Only few half period zones constitute of that of narrow aperture. Let me discuss it. The resultant intensity the resultant intensity at D1 at point O when the slit 
ए बी कंसिस्ट ऑफ ओनली द फर्स्ट हाफ इड जो ऑफ ईच हाफ ऑफ द वेब फ्रंट एक्स वाई इट इज गिवेन एज रेजल्ट एंड इंटेंसिटी डी वन इज इक्वल टू here the upper half that one be the lower, lower half let we take each half contains one half red zone for upper half we have the resultant intensity and for lower half we also have the resultant intensity for upper half let it one be small d1 for lower half it will be let again d1 we have consider the first half red zone D1 plus D1, which one needs 2 D1? That will be the maximum condition. Let me prefer for first two half period zones. Let pass through these portions. Then what happened? The resultant intensity. Which is D two at uh, point O when the slit AB consists of only past two half regions. of each half of the web front x y therefore the resultant intensity d2 will be let you prefer the upper half consist of two half period zones and lower half consist of two half period zones for upper half condition let the intensity is as d1 minus d2 again for lower half condition the intensity is due to the two half red zones it will be d1 minus d2 we have two times of d1 minus d2 so here the intensity decreases and we obtain minima Next, if you take uh, that be the first three half period zones, what happened? Next one, the resultant intensity let D three at uh, point O when. The slit AB consists of only past three half period zones. Three half period zones of each half of the web front. X Y. So the resultant intensity D three will be for first half here D one minus D two plus D three, and for second half the resultant uh, intensity due to lower half 
of the number of uh, half hydrogens will be 3 then d1 minus d2 plus d3 that is 2 times of d1 minus d2 plus d3 here we obtain the maxima as taking d1 d2 plus d3 so we obtain maxima in first case we take uh, the first uh, half period zones next first two half period zones third case taking first three half period zones so what we conclude from these uh, three observations as uh, the number of uh, hydrogens passed through that of uh, aperture of that of slate is uh, odd then we obtain the maxima if it will be even then we obtain minima so we write that important point here what will be the condition to obtain maxima or minima Thus, we conclude that as per the number of half zones, as per the number of half period zones passing through each half. passing through each half of exposed wave front of exposed wave front above and below the point C whether that one is odd or even the maxima and minimas the maxima and minimas are produced at the central point O on the screen so what we conclude as per the number of five regions passing through that of each half of exposed wave front above and below the point c whether that is order even the maxima and minima are produced at the central point o on that of screen an important term that is exposed wave front exposed wave front see here if we taking that point o here that is the upper half wave front that is the lower half wave front from that of upper half wave front the exposed wave front portion is ac in case of lower half the exposed portion will be bc in this way we define what be the number of uh, hyper zones passing through that of particular uh, narrow slit aperture in this way we discuss what be the interference sorry what be the diffraction pattern you observe on the screen in case of narrow aperture of the slit that be the explanation regarding the diffraction pattern by using Fresnel's concept next if uh, that aperture is uh, very narrow then what we observe on that of screen there will be a flat maxima at center o there will be no diffraction fringes on that of region pq in that of region pq there will be no such diffraction fringes 
just a central maximum you observe at point O. At point O, and there will be no diffraction fringes in that of region PQ. When the aperture is very na narrow, what happened here? This is because of the fact that the slit contains a fraction of half road zones of each half of the wavefront corresponding to the point O. Therefore, in case of very narrow aperture, at center we obtain a maxima. So, the graph if we plot the distribution of intensity, the distribution of intensity here intensity distribution at point O here the point P that be the point Q as far as that particular figure is concerned. So, we obtain a central maximum here. no further diffraction pattern we observe in case of very narrow aperture of that of slit. Why? As the slit contains the fraction of uh, haploid zones of each half of the wavefront, so in that of center we obtain a central maxima, not further patterns are observed in case of uh, that geometrical shadow portions. So, with the help of this video lecture we understand Fresnel diffraction pattern of a slit wide aperture of the slit that be the explanation for intensity distribution of light on that of screen or that is the diffraction pattern we observe on that of screen in case of wide aperture of the slit. Next when that uh, slit aperture is narrow aperture, then what type of uh, diffraction pattern we observe that can be explained by using Fresnel's theory that with the conclusion based upon the Fresnel's theory. Next for very narrow aperture of the slit, we obtain just a central maximum at point O within that of region PQ, not further diffraction we observe at point P and Q. So, with this useful uninformative notes, let me wind up this session. Thank you.